So I've been asked how you add auto lock in onto a Ford Focus using the ELM config. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit of a quick tutorial on showing you how to do this. So first if you open up ELM config and plug your ELM in, uh, we'll first go to gem and then we'll press read and we'll see that it's showing up nothing in here. That's because I've got the switch flipped the wrong way. So if I just quickly flip the switch and then I should be able to read from the gem now. So if I press that and all the information, yep, all the information starts to appear. So this is the current settings which is set in the vehicle. Um, I mean, I already have some stuff enabled already. Uh, one way we're doing is changing this down to uh, five kilometers an hour just for this. So we'll save the current settings out. It's always good to take a backup of this. So if you just save these to somewhere on your computer, so if anything goes wrong, you can always roll it back. So I'll just quick these James, yep. And we'll just save that. And then okay to that one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change that to 5 and then write to gem. So this is going to write to the vehicle and press OK to that. And that's just wrote them and then we just restart the module. You hear a little click and then that's that bit done. So that's set to 5 kilometers an hour now. Uh, same again, we read from here. So this is page 2. And the main one we're looking at here is the auto locking. So first we're going to save. So you'll see there's three checkboxes here. There's one which says auto locking, auto locking enabled by customer and auto locking with re-auto locking. So you also be unchecked if it isn't enabled. So if you go in and check all of them three checkboxes, and again, we'll read uh, right in the gem, press OK, and then that's saved, and we we'll start again, and OK. So as soon as you start driving now, that means uh, auto locking will automatically lock the cars, and then if a passenger gets out while the car's still running, um, and you start driving away again, auto locking will re-enable again so it'll just automatically lock the car. And it's as easy as that.